hello friends welcome to programming knowledge so in this video we will see how you can install postgresql in your windows 11 machine so first of all go to the chrome browser or any of your browser and search for postgresql click on the website Here you will find all the documentation regarding to PostgreSQL. So click on the download. Here you can choose the operating system based on your machine. So we are currently on Windows. So I'm selecting Windows. Here you can download the installer by clicking on this. And here you can select the version. So click on the latest version and select Windows X86-64 version over here and click on this. As soon as you click on this, uh, it will start downloading the Postgre version. So I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that again. So after you downloaded the file, just open it. okay so click on the next so here the installation directory path click on the next and this bundle will download the postgresql server pg admin 4 which is an gui to manage all your databases so click on next 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 okay so now the installation process has been started it will install all the dependencies and all the softwares they needed to access the postgresql server on your machine just wait for a few minutes okay so it's finished now click on finish here select the postgresql here you click on the database drivers and click on the latest version here it is installed so click on next next okay finish okay so now you can go to your start menu and search for the postgresql here it is you can click on the sql shell 
So our server is localhost. Database is Postgres. Enter. Port is five four three two. Username is Postgres by default. Here it will ask for the password. Uh, and since I already installed it on my machine and I reinstalled the Postgres on my system, so the installation process doesn't ask me for the password. But if you are doing it for the first time in your machine, it will ask for a password. So you can set it your password, uh, what you want. So let me just type in. Here we are already in Postgres, as you can see. So if I type slash L, you can see the list of databases that we have on my machine. So you have successfully downloaded PostgreSQL on your machine. So thanks for watching it.